Hi, my name is Uchi D. This channel is all about fun art challenges. I hope through these challenges I can improve my art skills and share my journey with you. For today's challenge, I chose to color two fan arts by using only Sharpie markers. I saw this on YouTube and wanted to really try it out, so I dug up all my Sharpies and now I'm ready. Let's do it! Okay, so up until now, I've only ever used Sharpies for labeling stuff or writing words. And this is the first time I will be coloring something with Sharpies. Before coloring the actual art pieces, I wanted to test out how they color and blend. Here, I am doing a quick stroke test on different papers. The left one is marker paper and the right one is a regular sketchbook paper. For the regular sketchbook paper, you can see that the strokes are more apparent and the color doesn't come out as smoothly. So, of course I went with the marker paper for further testing. Now I am doing a blend test of cool colors, warm colors, and complementary colors in dark and light shades. Just in case, if you don't know what complementary colors are, there are two colors that are on opposite sides of the color wheel. And I'll come back to this in just a bit. Well, even though I have a limited color set, I actually really liked the colors I had available and was excited to use them because now I can use the light colors like yellow, pink, and light green that had minimal chance to be used for my normal usage of Sharpies. Back to the complementary colors. Here, I'm using pink and light green, which is good because I wouldn't have used them otherwise and they are a great example of complementary colors. To be honest, I'm not familiar with not only coloring with Sharpies, but also alcohol markers in general. I'm still in the process of learning, but one thing I want to point out is that these Sharpies have a super strong alcohol smell. Okay, the test is done and Here's a better view. I think as long as the colors are similar, their blending isn't so bad, but they definitely don't perform well when blending complementary colors. Ready, go! Time for the actual challenge. I prepared two rough sketches for this challenge. Can you see them? You can't, it's okay. Please wait until I finish coloring. Now for the first piece, I primarily used cool colors. I also chose to use a fairly simple character, Luna P from Sailor Moon, in hopes to practice blending the markers. But you will see how this goes. To start off, because I was scared, I decided to color from the ears with the purple-blue combination, and surprisingly, it didn't come out so bad for now. With a little more confidence, I moved on to the eyes, and they came out even better. I think Sharpies might have some potential. The final part is of the face body area and I decided to color it with a gray purple blue gradation. The gray and the purple blended fairly simple um, but once I got to the blue portion as you can see it didn't blend so well. It's probably because of a saturation difference and I ended up adding another coat of purple to try and reduce the saturation difference though it didn't help much. Now for the second picture, a quick sketch of Chibi Moon to be the soft, and I'm hoping it comes out much better. I went with a pink red ultra thin sharpie for the outline, which came out to be thicker than I was hoping for. I mean it looks like a lot thicker than the normal 3mm fine liner pen that I'm used to. Anyways, let's move on to color with warm colors. Based on the last picture, I was really excited to do the gradation of the eyes, so I jumped right into it. And I'm happy with the red to pink gradation result. I continued to color the small parts to test out colors and then started to color the bow. I was hoping to get a cool blending between the purple and red, but again, they didn't mix well with each other when I tried to do the gradation. Though, I do think the red came out much better with the base layer of purple beneath it. Going on to the hair, I used the yellow for the highlights and tried to blend it more smoothly with the pink by using a peach color. It didn't come out too bad, but I think using the white of the paper or a white gel pen might have been more effective. 
As you can expect, I saved the skin for last due to the fact that I didn't really have a light skin tone color. I went with the closest color I had and while it was dark, I don't think it looks that bad. If you're going for a more pop art effect or maybe a super tanned skin tone color. Let's see both finished pieces. It took a little more than one hour to color them. Considering it's my first time coloring with Sharpies, I don't think it's that bad. But I also think I could have done better if I pre-tested more blending combinations prior to coloring. Let's see each piece a little bit closer. As far as the solid coloring, the colors are vibrant and with a marker paper will come out without that much streaking. When you use Sharpies for coloring, like I said, some Sharpie combinations don't mix well with each other. So I highly recommend pre-testing color combinations in addition to swatching, so you have a better understanding of how Sharpies work together. Oh yeah, and you should definitely have good ventilation too. This Sharpie challenge was fun and it was a good experience to use a medium I would have never considered using. Using tools that you are not familiar with using in your artwork will be good for forcing yourself to try out something you wouldn't otherwise do. Like in my case, trying out new color combinations and techniques. What you learn from these challenges can most likely be used across other mediums as well. Also, Sharpies might be a good choice for this type of challenge as they are very cheap and widely available. That's it for this time. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like or leave a comment below and of course I will be super happy if you hit the subscribe button. See you next time.